Hello and welcome to the Play Android Game Reviews. I'm Daniel and today I'll be playing for you Turbo Words by the developer Basil Sada. It's a word puzzle game and I already started it and this is how the game greets you, greets you when you start it up the first time. And here it says, welcome to Turbo Words. Let's set up the basic settings so we can start playing in no time. And at the bottom there's swipe to continue, swipe left to continue. Now, what's your strongest language? Let's see what's available here. And there's quite a lot, but because I am playing for an international audience, let's stick with English this time. Swipe right to go back, swipe left to continue. Let's continue. We'll start with 60 second games or would you like to change that? Let's get a bit more here for demonstration purposes, I guess. 90 seconds. And how about we start off with medium? Now let's go easy. And here, every game you play will be in English for 90 seconds on medium difficulty. You can always change this by opening the settings page. By touching the custom button before playing, you can change the settings for one game. So, everything here already nicely explained and here we have a explanation of, well, what is happening here. We have, yeah, this is what it looks like in the game. We have both letters up top and the thing is, in this word puzzle, you have to find words that start with the first letter and here and end with the last, well, with the number two here. So a word with, you're starting with a C and ending with a G. And here we have our points on the right and our seconds, seconds left for typing in this specific word on the left and our input field with the number five and left we have the wrong entries and on the right we have the correct entries. And you see here we have clapping ear, clacking, crag, cog, and all starting with C and ending with A, G. And then you have your, well, keyboard from your Android device at the bottom so you can actually type in your answers. Then we have a, well, legend on here explaining all the numbered points up there but let's just start playing let's just see how it goes and here we have a we have first letter is d and the last letter is s and let's just see um, doves maybe and correct here and we get seconds plus if we get a correct word and Dogs. So you can basically just go with the plural form. Dolphins here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Deers? No. Dinosaurs. And you see, this is how the game plays in a basic mode. So. Let's see if we can make a bit more. And hmm, D and S. I played this before and I have to say, after a while you hit like a wall where you can't, well, think about anything else. I'm not an English native, so maybe it's because I'm playing in English here and Maybe it's easier for native speakers. I found it easier playing it in German, but as I said before, international audience. So it's in English here. And let's just let the time run out. Let's see what happens then. And we have an ad popping up here. Let's just close that down. I'm sorry for this one. So 
if the game stops, you will get back to the main menu. This is the main menu of the game. And as you see, it continues on with the whole graphics with the browns and greens. This is the overall graphic style of the game and it looks very nice, clean and neat. Perfect for a game like this. You need the overview. You don't necessarily need for a word puzzle different effects or 3D objects flying around or anything like this. It's not an arcade game. It's not, not a game which well builds on reflexes, but it builds on knowledge and typing in the words. And I think a clear interface like it is here is a, the better choice for a game like this. So really, well, nicely made here. And as you heard the sounds as well, you have the indicator sounds and you don't have music here. And I think music while playing would be actually really distracting. So I am much more comfortable with only indicator sounds during gameplay and well, no music during gameplay at all. I think music in the menus would be a nice addition. It would, well, well, ease up the game a bit, make it more accessible maybe, or make it more friendly because all the colors, all the er these earthy colors look quite dark, give it a dark tone, and maybe some music would lighten it up. But I think for a game like this, music is no necessity. And it it is quite good without it. So, and you can, well, of course, if you don't like any sounds, you can turn them off in the settings menu as well. Here we have the settings. Let's just have a look. And it's quite extensive, I think. And you can, well, turn off sound, turn on or off vibrations. If you're playing on a phone, I don't have any on here on this tablet. Privacy, meaning accept challenges from friends only or from everyone. So do you want to get random invites, random challenges from anyone around the world or just friends? And remove ads. So you have to buy the game, remove the ads. This fairly, well, already known technique. If you want to play the game without any ads coming in your way, just go ahead, buy it for, well, I don't know, a small sum. And then we have the game options with the language and the, well, duration, the things we saw before and push notifications and the linked accounts for Facebook and Twitter. Let's go back again. And we have here our menu is pretty simple, single player or local multiplayer. So you know you can, well, compete against your friends at a party or wherever with the same device. Use it to play local multiplayer. Nice addition, I think. And yeah, good for the game. And in terms of controls, I think I'd rather stay in this in this mode, in this menu to talk about controls because talking and typing at the same time and thinking about words is quite hard. So instead of just not saying anything while I try to figure out words, I'm staying here and talk about the controls a bit. I mean, all, all in all, you only need controlling the game really when it comes to the menu and it's straightforward, it's tapping. The game reacts to your input. There is no input lag here, but it relies on your device's keyboard. So if you're not really proficient in typing or if you're a slow typer on a virtual keyboard, this might hamper your play fun a bit. Or if you have the wrong keyboard or a, well, poorly just a keyboard, you might, well, might not get the same experience other people get with this game. This is an individual issue. And I mean, of course, if there's the possibility to use the device's keyboard, why would the developer put in a own keyboard for the game? I think this is really, well, a sensible step and yeah, use your keyboard, a good keyboard you're familiar with. And I think you won't have any problems typing in this game. And yeah, in terms of originality, let's talk about it. Um, this game as it is, the gameplay 
I looked for other games like it in Google, in the Google Play Store, and oh, here is the tutorial. And I have to say, um, the gameplay is pretty unique. I haven't found any other kind of game like it that does the same thing with the first letter and the last letter, but it's still a word puzzle. There are a lot of word puzzles out there. So the, well, indirect competitors, there are a lot of them and the competition issue is huge in terms of word puzzle games. And yeah, that's the thing. I think it's kind of, well, in the middle when it comes to sc uh, score in terms of originality and it has its unique gameplay, but it in, well, at the same time, it is a word puzzle like so many others out there. And well, if you like word puzzles, you will play this game again because it offers quite a lot in the single player. For instance, you have different game modes. You have word rush, you have time attack, practice mode, free play or insanity. All different modes where you can practice your game, practice your memory, practice your word, well, recall and yeah if you're this kind of person this might be the game for you you might fire it up again on the other hand well as i said before it's a word puzzle it's just about recall and well besides this there is not so much in the game here you have your statistics here but that is all i think what would be nice would be some kind of connection to Google Play games. So you can have some kind of an achievement or compare yourself to others over Google and with a large community already ha having access to the same devices as you. So if you like to play it again, you can choose different difficulty levels, different time frames, different game modes. So in terms of replayability, if you're this type of player, it offers quite a lot. And yeah, but at the end of the day, the gameplay still stays the same. It's still only, well, typing in the words for the asked question, which can a bit get a bit boring, even if you're cranking up the difficulty, even if you're trying to do better in less time. And well, what it might help with is maybe if you're playing in another language, in, your, in a foreign language, it might help with a, your vocabulary, well, training it and recollecting it or uh, recalling different words, learning new words. This is really, well, in this sense, quite educational, I think. So maybe if you're, if you're learning something new, learning some new languages, this might help actually. So this adds to replay value as well, but it's very specific and a case to case from player to player. So yeah. This is basically all there is about the game. All that I wanted to say about the game. Um, you saw the gameplay before. It's pretty basic. There's nothing more to show except maybe these different play modes that only have different time options or something like this. So there is not much variation there. So I think I showed you everything there is here. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can read uh, an in-depth review of this game on playandroid.com. You'll find the link to the article in the video description, as always, as well as the link to the Play Store where you can download this game for free. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you'll tune in next time. And until then, I say goodbye.